The Ministry of Transport has dismissed claims by the House Committee on Loans and Treaties probing Nigeria-China loans that the federal government has already obtained a loan to the tune of about $33 billion from China. An unhappy minister, Rotimi Amechi, told the House Committee on Treaties, Protocols and Agreements during a public hearing in Abuja that the federal government had not obtained any loan and accused the chairman of the committee, Honorable Nicolas Osai, of being politically motivated and self-serving. Mr. Amechi accused the committee of making inquiries over the coastal rail line which runs from Lagos to Calabar. I've been uh, trying to manage myself since you, since you made your speech. So I'll give a slight response to your speech and I'll answer your question. The slight response to your speech is that I will repeat here that we need to be more patriotic than we have been. Mr. Chairman, Point of Mr. Chairman. No, sir, I have a right to speak. Please, I'm giving, right right. I'm giving him right. I'm giving him right to speak. You have invited me. I was once a member of the House, so I know the right of, of the guest that you invited me. Now, Mr. Chairman, if you say this of transport had a contract of 33 billion, we want to see it. Because as Minister for Transport, the only contract we've awarded so far is $1.6 billion contract for Lagos Ibadan, which is under threat. The, the, Can you speak to the questions I asked you now? There is no $33 billion contract in Minister of Transport. The what we have in Minister of Transport is $1.6 billion contract awarded under President Buhari and an $800 million contract awarded by President Goodluck Jonathan. If it is a $1.6 billion contract, which is all we know, because by the time we came, the contract awarded by President Wilson, signed by Aganga, had been completed 80%. So we did not have to do anything of local content or local local content. The only one that we have to deal with the issue of local content, which is the only contract that we have for now, is a $1.6 billion contract awarded from Lagos to Ibadan. $1.6 billion, for which Chinese government is providing $1.2 and we are providing the many $400 million. Mr. Chairman, there are over, over, over 20,000 workers. Only 560 of them are Chinese. 560, and I wish to submit the document. Because it's good to tell Nigerians the truth. This is very political. Nobody is telling lies. And I will show all the contracts awarded by the PDP government since you want to bring this up. Mr. Chairman, sir. Are you aware, Mr. Honorable Minister, of $11.1 billion on Nigerian coastal railway projects that was signed on 1st of July 2016. Have you not approached me on South South Have you not approached me on South South Korea? You have. I have not. Mr. Chairman, you have approached me. It's okay. Me. It's okay. Have you not approached me on South South Korea? My priority as this committee chairman is to make sure any area we are taking rail is viable and to promote the economic activities of Nigeria and bring about a multiplier effect. Okay, so let's start with coastal rail. There is no contract on coastal rail. It's okay. What I'm there is no contract is until you get the loan, there is no contract. It's okay. And the implication is that we may not get the loan, so there will be no contract. It's okay. Okay. The Lagos Ibadan. Yeah. I'm not the contractor. He will supply us at the end of the contract.